Wow, you look amazing. I mean, that's nice and all, Verda, but I don't get why I gotta wear this. Who said you were going? Oh, come on, Verda, it's broke before. Girls. Dude, she's my girlfriend. I have to take her out. Okay, look, can we at least talk about something scans related before you guys go? Again, back to back, what could you possibly talk about? The Valentine's Day variants. You know what? Fine, just make it quick. Skylanders had many different variants, with the most notable being for holidays, like Christmas, Halloween, and Easter. But one holiday they seemed to give very little attention to was Valentine's Day. But that doesn't mean that they didn't try, with the first ever variant being... We are reaching here. Skylanders Lost Islands was one of the first and most notable mobile games for the series, where it was a village farming game. If you played something like Dragon City or Monster Legends, that's Skylanders Lost Islands. Not only would it feature all the Skylanders, but it also had exclusive variants for certain characters. And in February 2012, Flameslinger would receive a Valentine's Day variant, being Cubed Flameslinger. For 1500 gems or getting him for the Wishing Well, he helps you by getting 25% more gold. It was available in February of 2012 and 2013, and he is notable for being the first Valentine's Day variant. Oh, come on. What about in the actual games? Be patient, bird, or it. Ah, oh, okay, look, okay, look, fine, okay, fine, look. Pop Fizz is one of the most iconic characters in Skylanders. He would be the first and technically the only character to get a physical Valentine's Day variant with Love Potion Pop Fizz. Being released during Wave 4 of Trap Team. And if you ever wanted to play as a pink version of Pop Fizz, now you can. I think it's cool. In February of 2015, another exclusive variant would come out for Lost Island, with the character Cobra Cadabra getting a variant named Charming Cobra Cadabra, which does the same as the other Lost Islands variants. But February 2015 would be the only time he would release. It would be the final Valentine's variant for Lost Islands. Okay dude, you have to get it right this time. I'm trying, I swear. In Skyler's Imagineers, the character Buckshot was supposed to get a variant, named Heartbreaker Buckshot, and was even fully announced, with him having a full trailer on the Skyler's YouTube channel, and even a full page on the game's website. But when the day came and went, nothing, he just didn't come out, with both of the prior mentioned promotions getting taken down. And later, a developer at Toys for Bob would state that the character looked too evil for Valentine's Day. And to be fair, they're not wrong he is pink. But in fall of 2021, two listings for prototypes of him were posted on eBay. One that appeared to be sold for $20,000 but actually sold for $2,000, and the other was for $1,500. But Toys for Bob simply asked for them back, and it seems like the seller complied as both listings were taken down. But the main question is, does he even work in the game? And honestly, I don't even know. This topic is a bit too complicated, especially for a conversation like this, so I'll just leave it at that he can't be played for NFC cards, and I'm guessing the majority of the videos posted with him are likely made with mods. Fair enough, I guess. Just do better next time. I will. Hey, can you stop that? Due to Lost Islands no longer being available, both of the variants can't be played or obtained, at least through their original state. Love Potion Pop Fizz is around $10, and Heartbreaker Buckshot, since he wasn't released, at most 12 figures exist, and was only sold once. He's worth around $2,000, but possibly even more. Overall, Valentine's is a day where you express your love to the things that you care about, and Skylanders at least try to represent that. Assuming that since there's so many characters already made, they just didn't really have time to add variants for this special day. Or they just really did not care about this holiday, which honestly is probably the more realistic answer, making Valentine's the Forgotten Skylanders variant. Race, I really have to go. See you later. Well, what are we gonna do? Don't worry, Andres. I have the perfect game. Well, looks like I won once again. Yeah, because you're the one shuffling the cards. You're just mad because you haven't won a round. Die.